thanks to improvements in modern archaeological technologies, and indeed the evolution of satellite resolution imagery of our spinning living blue marble, we are fortunately entering an era where thanks to penetrative strata photography, the last remaining legacies of what we have long claimed would be found, that of once highly capable global lost civilization or possibly many. And yet another proof of this hypothesis has recently been rediscovered in Iran. A gigantic artificial wall, measuring approximately 71 miles in length, extending from the mountains of Bamu to an area near the town of Jamarg, Iran, has been exposed. To put this ancient feat into perspective, computer systems have estimated that more than 1 million cubic meters of stone would have had to have been quarried, transported, and placed where they now lay, and this is a mere remnant of its past grandeur. Quote, With an estimated volume of 1 million cubic meters of stone, its construction would have required abundant resources, this in terms of labor, materials, and tremendous toil and time, wrote Sajad Alibagi, PhD of the Archaeological Department of the University of Tehran, in an article published in the journal Antiquity. Although the existence of the wall, long claimed as unknown to mainstream archaeology, those who have lived nearby for millennia have known about its existence all along, knowing it as Gari Wall or Gari Chen Wall. The Venture Party state that due to the wall's poor state of conservation, the researchers are not sure who built the structure and for what purpose. In fact, they are not even sure of its exact width and height. The best estimate is about 4 meters wide and 3 meters high. Its exact purpose remains a complete mystery, one which we find highly compelling. Many of the most ancient stone structures we cover here upon our channel, whose origins undoubtedly span far back into Earth's antiquity, in our experience are often, unfortunately, due to the rigid, unchanging conclusions set forth in regards to academic history just over a century ago, will not only encounter reoccurring anomalies, suspiciously precise stone cuts, unexplainable by any of our lesser capable yet institutionally permitted ancestors with whatever said civilization were to equip with, yet regardless and rather arrogantly refuse to budge in terms of the official tale of events. This then means that anyone with critical thinking skills will continually and often come across feats of ancient engineering somehow accomplished by said people, enormous and perfectly refined stone carvings that, according to, and as a result of, academic institutions' reluctance to budge, must be explained away as having, somehow, once been cut and created with tools of a soft metal. Yet in reality, this is simply an impossibility. It is a lie only possible on paper, yet this lie is mass-printed all over our planet. It is in Mystery History's opinion that these advanced and thus inexplicable features which litter our videos in abundance are each and all clear evidence of a far more advanced yet far more ancient and thus lost civilization. Additionally, another reoccurring theme anyone exploring this confusing, enigmatic, and although little shared, ever-growing list of ancient unexplainable structures, no funded individual dare attempt to explain the methodology of said build but will find that they are, instead, extremely eager to willingly and immorally seal the fate of these marvelous buildings' legacy, condemning them to the ever-growing list we like to call the label of the tomb. A ruthless, willing, and well-funded army of researchers, tasked with exploring any archaeology from a very specific time period, thus we posit any re-inhabitation of said site's archaeology is used nearly always absent an explanation as to how they built said buildings, to pinning the construction on whom is most convenient. An eventual attribution for all of these exquisite and quite possibly incredible important historical relics as simply tombs. We have in the past touched upon false doors, claimed witchcraft, which seemingly permeated all ancient civilizations worldwide. 
from littering the 1,000-ton-plus toppled obelisk of Aksum, exposing the advanced ruins in Ethiopia, but also the Giza Plateau among countless other locations on Earth seemingly spanning many lost civilizations' ruins. And the site which is the focus of this video, we feel, is one of the most awe-inspiring false doors on Earth. When it comes to false doors, a sheer mountain side carved away perfectly, not only creating a tomb of master stonework in a time of history, when this should have simply been impossible. Its false door, however, proof of its far greater age, leading into some incredible landscape, makes it a site which undoubtedly adds intrigue to the mystery of the false door, and whether we will ever unlock its fullest potentials. We previously covered one in Peru in a subject-specific film. Link will be at the end. Local legend claimed it was once a portal. It is clearly a false door, as seen all over the world, just like that of Axum, seemingly laser-cut into the hillside. What we found highly compelling, however, was that it had been cut into the only mountainside in all of Peru to have possessed an extremely rare earth element in the stone which we now use in high-end transmission of radio, sound, and light waves. Every day, we get closer and closer to finally understanding what these doors were. Kapilikea Rock Tomb is not only an extraordinarily well-located ruin, located in Kirkdilim, 27 kilometers north of Churum, Turkey, on a rocky, steep, rough-formed, thus hard bedrock. It is clearly a relic of one of the lost civilizations we have long been studying not only due to the precision of the stone cut, the masterful choice of location, but also the use of the false door, in our opinion, proves beyond doubt that this ruin was made by the same lost civilization or civilizations as we are currently pursuing an identity and a legacy for here upon our channel. A civilization once capable of moving and building with 1,000 plus ton megalithic stones possibly even the builders of, or the descendants of the true group of people responsible for the Great Pyramids themselves. Many things which do not add up are often overlooked or dismissed. But in our experience, the ancient ruins never lie, if you let them tell the story, and explore said relics with a quest to understand what they may still be able to tell us. It does not matter what others may claim, for as we know, the truth will always prevail, and that is something we find highly compelling. Acoustics – something many are obsessed by, often splurging incredible amounts of money on technology in the pursuit of better and better sound. But acoustics is not merely limited to electric guitarists painting over which amp they should buy. It is also the studies of the properties of sound. A simple statement yet it has far-reaching influences which reach not only deep into our psyche, but also into an inconceivably huge part of our lives and decision-making. Almost nearly all parts of our species' lives is influenced by it. Even looked at and used within the modern era as a main component within military weaponry. However, the term acoustic can also mean, and I quote, the properties or qualities of a room or building that determine how sound is transmitted in it. And this area is the one which we find tremendously interesting, as during our ongoing and in-depth research into many sites all over the world, coming to know a vast amount of interesting factors regarding a large swath of already studied or rather exposed sites within the modern mainstream. The Hypogeum in Malta being one of them, an extraordinary site that has been explored in detail and discovered to possess incredible acoustic abilities. Abilities which have been found at the site in question within this video. Yet we feel the connections between these remarkable sites need to be looked at closer, and the possibility that a now lost yet highly advanced, seemingly acoustically obsessed ancient civilization not only once existing, becomes ever more likely, but that they succeeded in discovering incredible things things we are yet to fully understand regarding acoustic resonance, so much so that it allowed them to be the original builders of these marvelous structures. It was first thought that seven circular structures, which are located around the sacred hill and on the neighboring hills, 
represented the Sun, Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. However, interestingly, it was later hypothesized that there may be a grave monument and a sacred area still preserved here. Interestingly, it seems although it is thought that pagans in Somatosh climbed up the sacred hill within permitted history, the team have not attributed them with the achievement of creating the sites. This, to us, seems highly unusual. So much so, we may actually be witnessing a change in attitudes within academic study. If so, this is an enormous victory on ours and, more importantly, truth's behalf. Additionally, they have seemingly, bravely, put forward a quote which we also find highly intriguing, for it is one we feel which would have once been dismissed, yet another grain of inclination that strategies and most important attitudes within academic pursuit is altering. Quote, the archaeoacoustic research group known as SB ask us to take into consideration that it is possible to perceive a magnetic field by empirical observation and in the same way to pursue a higher state of consciousness during meditation or rituals in the presence of strong infrasounds. They continued, if one were to extend this research to the ruins of the other six temples, it may provide further insight." End quote. We find these claims interesting, especially due to the popularization of the acoustic knowledge regarding the hypogeum in Malta. Additionally, ours and others repeated reports of the mass burial found there. Nearly 7,000 separate remains discovered there, some claimed as seemingly having alien origins found buried at the Hypogeum, yet is, ironically, a story and discovery which has been long attempted to be buried itself. Yet these acoustic properties are undoubtedly incredibly intriguing, possibly groundbreakingly important, especially when one considers it is accompanied with a claim of undisturbed burial grounds, and when one considers what was claimed to have been found among the burial in Malta, a discovery we have previously covered. Somatosh, within Turkey, is undoubtedly highly compelling.